and welcome. I'm Jay from Jay Blake Studio and I'm now offering a new release of my camera care and maintenance packages. Each of the three packages contain five videos each. Package one covers the care and maintenance of your camera lens. Package two covers the camera body and the third package the sensor. Whether you're shooting with a smartphone, point and shoot, consumer, prosumer, or professional camera, these maintenance strategies will ensure that you keep shooting your best and your hardware lasts as long as possible. That's a good investment. Dirt, dust, and grit will build up on your cameras, especially the sensor, over time, particularly if you're shooting in extreme environments. There's nothing worse than knowing that you've nailed a great shot, whether still or footage, just to get back to your computer to find there's a big sensor spot or dust on your image or footage. I've been shooting stills and footage over 25 years in some of the most extreme climates on our planet. From the deserts of Dubai, in the Middle East, to the jungles of Cambodia and Thailand, to aerial photography of beluga whales in the Bering Sea from a small plane. Dust, dirt, humidity, fungus are not a camera's best friend. With my extreme shooting over time, I've refined my cleaning and maintenance strategy basing it on a simple step-by-step -step procedure with inexpensive tools available virtually anywhere. Cleaning kits can be very expensive and can easily run over $100, so my strategy will save you money over the long term. I'm presenting to you today the tools I use to maintain all my imaging gear, including my iPhone, iPad, as well as video and still cameras, lenses, and sensors. These tools are simple to use, inexpensive, and will ensure that your personal camera will not only consistently take good shots all the time, but also will last a long time. As mentioned, the three packages each include five progressive step-by-step -step teaching videos relating to the categories of the lens, camera body, and sensor. As a promotion, I'm now offering each package of five videos for $19.95. To purchase all three packages together, 15 videos in total, will be $49.95. Payment should be made via PayPal and download your videos uh, via Dropbox Cloud account once confirmation's been received. Maintaining your expensive gear, whether a smartphone or high-end video camera, is a smart long-term investment. Feel free to message me at Facebook J at J Blake Studio 2016 Asia and we can link up. Now, before we move over to my product table so I can introduce you to my tools that I use, I wanted to quickly give you a rundown of some of the, an example of some of the tips I'm going to be offering you, and they're quite unique, okay? I rather doubt that you're going to find these online somewhere, okay? For example, I have a terry cloth here with a ziplock at the top. Inside, I have uh, some whole bunch of copper nails, but you could use copper pennies if you have access to them. Put that in the washing machine, dry it, okay, so the, the, all the movement uh, knocks off all the crust on the copper and you've exposed copper. And then, and I've got a microphone in my hand, so I'm going to lift this up. I have a Tupperware, Tupperware container, okay, initially put your gel, silica gel, your uh, copper terry cloth, and a lens with the cap off. Put that in there and lock it up with your Tupperware lids, the sealing lid, and place that in the sun for five hours and you're gonna get rid of the fungus on your lens if you have a fungus problem, okay? I use this, it's very inexpensive, and is an example of a tip that um, I use often, okay? So let's now move over to my product table so I can introduce you to the tools that I use, okay? See you in a bit. Okay, we're back and um, before we start going through all the tools, I just want to go back to the Tupperware container again. These are a wonderful invention. What you want to do is to use these to store your cameras at home, camera or lenses or electronics, at home and stick a silica gel 
inside and just, if you're not gonna use your camera for a while, put in one of these to keep it. Also, when you're out in the field, take a couple in case you get caught in the rain. Uh, you can just pop your camera lens inside one of these and it's protected, okay? Just a little tip there. Now, to start going through the, uh, this, our cleaning fluid, I made a little cup here, you can see, and I have rubbing alcohol 50%. This seems to work okay. I've used 70%, it's also okay, all right? And you just put a little bit in. This lasts for a long time, costs about $2, I think, something like that. And you just use this little container, and that works quite well. Um, of course, one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is to blow the dust out of your uh, camera interior or your lenses and go over it. You can get compressed spray air, that compressed air, and but I don't use it because it's hard to come by sometimes in my locations, but and there's an unlimited supply of air for these things, so this always goes with me. Over here, I've got a straw. Sometimes I use this just to suck out pieces that I keep, that won't blow out. You know, if I you get on the inside, uh, on the wall inside the uh, housing, then you know sometimes you can just pull it off with a little suction on it. I've got a brush, a paintbrush, and this looks like I need to replace it sometime. This is wonderful for getting deep into the crevices uh, for cleaning your camera. Toothbrush soft toothbrush and that's a little stiffer and has a different effect but it also is great for cleaning. I sometimes use some forceps to uh, pull things, move things around. Of course I have about, I carry about 10 of the silica gel desiccants that are, are used for many different applications, okay. Um, for cleaning a camera down, I'm using alcohol pads. These are 70% isopropyl alcohol, and they work wonderfully. Um, and they're just little, little wet pads. Throw them away when you're finished. And for other cleaning, cleaning of the sensor, for example, I use a, um, the, uh, a gauze pad, which is sterilized, and it's, it's perfect for, for getting into places. And lots of Q-tips. Now these Q-tips were purchased at a pharmacy. They're a tight woven uh, fiber, so they don't, you, know, you haven't got fibers falling off all over the place. And I'll, I often will wrap that up and dip it in the alcohol, dab it off, and that's a, that's a cleaning surface and it's very soft and absorbent. It works wonderfully. Now, those are the Q-tips and the gauze. And for, I have toothpicks here as well. And just so it, for your iPhone and your iPad and whatnot, and you wanna get in and you clean, clean the little crevices around here, uh, for example, here is the, uh, the switch. You can, you can take the alcohol pad or the gauze and you get your toothpick and just clean inside the, those areas. More on that later. So toothpicks. This is a wonderful brush, probably the most important one, a cosmetic brush, a blush brush for women at a, from a cosmetic shop. And it's great for just getting rid of the dust off of your, off the surface, okay? Just knock it out and then just for cleaning. Now, often what you wanna do is see how your, how your cleaning is going. And for example, on this lens, I have a little magnifying glass and I use the magnifying glass with some light and I can actually see the dust particles on the surface and I know where to target them to get rid of them, okay? So that works really well. And of course, uh, if you're into GoPro cameras, cleaning is important and uh, the housing protects the camera, but I'm always cleaning that as well. Now, when we come to the sensor, this is a different bag here because I go about this a little bit differently. This is for dry cleaning. These, a little sticky, it's a sticky surface, okay? And there's a little plastic suction 
a cup on this and I always wipe it down with the alcohol pads. I just wipe it down, clean it off before I use it. And the idea is you're going to plunge it onto the sensor, lift, and then transfer to the paper. Go back, lift, transfer. This works wonderfully for lifting loose dust, just stuff that's loose on the sensor that your blower doesn't get off, okay? Or the internal cleaner for your camera doesn't get off. It's good, and that's what I use first. But secondly, and you know, there, there's the commercial kits that you buy, they're, they're always recommending a kind of a spatula motion, a one, a one directional movement across the sensor and back again. But I'm reluctant about that because I have had my camera and a little piece of grit got stuck to the sensor. Now, you have to understand, sensors have a film on it, so you're not actually touching the sensor. But what you might do, if you have a real piece of grit stuck to the sensor, you may, if you're dragging, dragging across, you know, your sensor, you may loosen that up and drag it across the film and scratch the film or the sensor. I don't do that, okay? What I do is I use the gauze, a Q-tip, fold it over a couple of times. So I get, a, I get that kind of a, a surface, dip it in the alcohol, dab it off, and I run it across the sensor a couple of times, and I check it with the magnifying glass and do it again, okay? I'll go into much more depth uh, when we get into the, uh, the actual video training, okay? So basically, those are the tools, totally inexpensive, and uh, you can just put them in a little pouch and carry them with you wherever you're going, okay? So that's it. Now, uh, at the end of this video, you'll notice that in the uh, credits, I've got listed uh, contact information. I'll have a Twitter account, my uh, a YouTube, uh, Facebook, etc., uh, Instagram up there, as well as um, other sites that I have my content on if you want. Now, on the Facebook page, on the Facebook page, I have sample representative videos that are kind of hard to shoot. So those are available as well. So when you're checking out this video, if you like, you can check out the other videos that I've actually made that are for sale, okay? So it's been a blast. This is fun and uh, hope to hear from you. Okay, this is Jay signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.